pain no mother should have to endure. Residents in shock and law enforcement on another difficult assignment. February 10th will forever be remembered as a day of tragedy for Rose Hall residents after a one-year-old baby was brutally killed, allegedly at the hands of a relative. The main suspect in the killing reportedly kidnapped the child from her mother's home, concealed her in a neighboring yard, and then slashed her throat. Lenroy Robertson was the one who discovered her lifeless body. He missed that guy with you. He said, yeah, let me ask me. I need to know something about something. Yeah. You see when we run come here, you feel it so? I'm going to have a sad, probably feel like it does similar. I mean, I know if he get talk up to you, mouth, or he lay down here, so anything. Because I'm going to come back this year, that's the day match down there. I mean, I know if he lay down with the youth. A horrific crime, one which residents were not willing to let go unpunished. After the suspect had been found and brought into the Rose Hall District Station, an angry crowd gathered here around 9 p.m., stoning the building and calling for his release. <laughs> Police were forced to fire warning shots to disperse the angry crowd, but even the threat of harm could not ease this tense situation. A big crowd. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I didn't get too close because they have a yellow line and big crowd. And, and well, I moved out up to a while. And then when I was wrong here, I hear gunshot. But it was a blank to keep the crowd away, you know what I mean? So I didn't know much what it, uh, but the transaction that took place from there. Williams told Searchlight that he regrets not being at home at the time of the killing. I cry. <laughs> Up this morning, still crying. Even a while ago, I still crying. It was very sad. Very, very sad. When I realized, well, the sea was here, the incident took place. He came up early, went over there, and to um, talk to the mother. So then they say, well, so I came over, along with my lady, color witness also. And then um, when he came over, he searched around, couldn't find the knife. Then after my madam say, here's the knife, and now all the blood is there and so on. Residents who spoke to search light said the suspect was not known to display any signs of mental illness. He was later moved from the district station while investigations continue. Christina Smith, Searchlight.